Last weekend I went on a road trip to a provincial Russian town with a few of my mates and I know a lot of you right now are searching to find out what it's like living in Russia under sanctions. You know, what are these places like to live in? Are we all walking around really sad? Is everything really bad? Well, this video will give you an insight as to how we're all feeling in Russia, what it's like in small Russian towns and how Russians spend their summer. So here we go with a quick, very quick tour of the house because I know how these tours can get pretty boring. There's a crazy dirty car. Hey. Я пока алкоголь не буду. And then we've got one bedroom, two bedroom, bathroom, bedroom, bedroom, another bedroom. Ой, значит все. Значит все. Скрывать вторую. Look at the route to the lake. Amazing. Wow. Look at this. Incredible. Wow, this really is incredible. Здравствуйте. Сэм. Здравствуйте, Сэм, очень приятно. Очень приятно. Где ты смотри, так далеко не ходит. Откуда? Из Франции. Из Франции? Да. О, и как вам Россия? О, я очень люблю Россию. Да? Да. Круто. А вы? Я во Владимире живу уже лет 18. 18? Да, я уже давно здесь. Так что это уже как дома. Есть несколько французов здесь. Да во Владимире у нас мало, да. А в есть, да? Да, есть. А, да. Есть французский ресторан. А, даже так? Да. It's such a weird feeling, like my mates have walked like literally miles down here and it, we're still like knee height, it's so strange. Я представляю, что это как бриллианты в руках. Да, да, да. Да, а вот если ты находишь чуть-чуть. Да, ты идешь по воде. Да. Вокруг тебя плавают. Добрый вечер. Hello. У меня, у меня глубоко. Очень, очень глубоко. У меня очень глубоко. А у всех остальных мелко. Да. So we've just met a French guy and his uh, Russian, I think, girlfriend or wife, and um, we're gonna sit by the lake and drink champagne. Yeah. Herring street food. Look where we've come to. This place, this place is supposed to be amazing. All these guys absolutely love it. I'm gonna tell the truth. I've been here before a few years ago. I didn't think it was that good. But anyway, we're going inside. That's it. I stand corrected. The food was really, really nice. <laughs> Может наш друг попасть в проем двери с расстояния трех метров. Да, и туда, и туда. Да, молодец. Кто молодец? Кто молодец? Кто молодец? Кто молодец? The sign of beach life. Just had an amazing breakfast just sitting here. About to read a bit of this book that I've been recommended. Wow. 
crazy hangover. I don't really drink much these days. I just had a few shots of whiskey last night and I'm battered today. But luckily the sun's uh, gone in for a few minutes just to help me relax a little bit. And then we're gonna head out to the uh, beachfront and go for a swim. The barn house has made it to Russia. This is pretty cool, isn't it? Look, down this way, it's tasty. Here we are at the side of the river. My friends want to go on some of these sap boards. And look at this nice cafe with these like local pieces of art here. Pretty nice, pretty cool. Here we've got like a French bakery stroke cafe. What is it called? Patisserie or something in French. So it's 20 to 2 in Paris. Thirty-one degrees is showing up there. So we've got a souvenir and excursion sign, and next to that we've got beer this way. This is the visiting centre, and this is the art bar. Check out the seats! Wow, they're so cool. It's so nice here. These little tables with the flowers on. Oh, cedar. Французский в том числе, wow. Нормандия, Британия. Отлично. So the owner was keen to show me all the different types of ciders they have. Now I'm not much of a cider drinker myself, but I know a guy who loves cider, who actually makes it himself. So I'm going to buy a few bottles just to take him as a gift. Gin and juice, or jazz and juice. I wanted to say gin and juice. Это называется Гордий Фузел. Ага. Ну, то есть это на основе бельгийского пива. О, я люблю бельгийский. Oh, that's it. We uh, must be cheap, huh? That's how it is. Oh, and here's the Takai steel. We came from the Rugam. Yeah. Now we're the most famous man in the world. Of course. Yeah, I'm so happy. That's the most famous man. Look at the mode of transport in the town. You don't need to be able to be missing, right? Yeah. And we said that there are good places in the city. Not on the Plesheyev. А еще какое-то место, где, где лучше. На плеше вы говорят, что очень, ну, что не глубоко, да-да-да, что глубоко, да. Можно, э, на набережной можно, там вот есть ага. выход к озеру, есть, если ага. вы есть еще просто лестница, там речка. Трушечка. А, Это да, прямо рядом, рядом, да? Да. А, хорошо. Ладно, спасибо, спасибо огромное. How many people have come to the beach today? Just cars for miles. There's not much of a beach here, but the water is full with people. It's crazy how shallow it is. You can just literally walk out so far. It's like the sea. It's just like the sea. Oh, wow. So amazing. Even though it's like a lake, it feels like the sea. What's weird as well is the further you actually go out, the warmer it gets. It's, um, it's a strange feeling being so far out in a lake, but just being knee height. Check out the cafe. I don't know if you can make out the flags. Ah, duh. Uh -huh. My mate wants to rent a uh, sub. We have a professional sub boarder showing us how it's done. Mati kakoyan krasavchik, eh? Krasavchik, Prama. Not kuti mori, katayitsa chilavik. Krasata, konyeshna. Thank you. 
красивые узкие девушки. Hello. How are you? Good. Good. Uh huh. You you live here in Paris No. No. From Moscow. Ah, oh, okay. I live in Vladimir. In Vladimir, so yeah. So you're just here for the weekend? Yeah. Ah, okay. Enjoy yourself. See you. Russian girls. This place has an insane amount of churches and Kremlins like this place here. Oh, this place. Oh, this one. Or this. Or this one. And I know some of you are going to really like this thing. I was just driving past and I saw this place. Everywhere here is full of character. Look at this. Absolutely amazing. This is like a grill and bar. But it's absolutely incredible, isn't it? And it's not just the front of the train, look. It's got the whole thing. That's really cool. How cool is this building? I'd love to go in there. I want to go in there. That looks like the best building I've seen today. Извините, пожалуйста. А вы местные, да? Нет, да? Вы она сказала да, вы сказали нет. Нет. А, ладно. Вы не знаете просто куда ходить вечером, где интересно или ничего не знаю. Да. Ну ладно. Спасибо. Извините, пожалуйста. Вы здесь живете, да? Да. А куда вечером ходить? Вечером нормально. А что вас смотреть Ну, какое-то ну, движение, пиво немножко. Пиво, вот, вот. здесь бар. Да. А, да? да? А там как-то люди ходят туда? Или, ну, ну, или... Кто-то спускался только да. что. А, ладно, хорошо, спасибо. This guy is obviously a patriot. Извините, пожалуйста, вы здесь живете, да? Да. А скажите, какое-то крутое место, которое только местные люди знают? Как раз местные его и не Нет такой? Нет? Ну ладно. Я yeah. думал, я хотел поехать и сказать, я там был. Ну ладно, давай, пока. Just walking past here and I've noticed this place and there's loads of flags hanging up. And um, it's got me intrigued as to what it is. If I can see there's Russia, there's Portugal. Is it China, then Sweden and Norway? That's a bit crazy, isn't it? I literally have no idea what the place is. Oh wait, there's a sign. What? Let's have a look. Oh, it's a hotel. Oh, I thought it was going to be something more interesting. It's just a hotel. All right, let's play a joke on this lady here. Let's see if she gets it. Okay, there's uh, some motorbikes over there. And at the same time, there's some little kids bikes for rent. So I'm going to pretend I want to rent a motorbike. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Здравствуйте. Можно на прокат взять? Вот я вот такой хочу. Look how many people are here. Crazy as that, they are French. Give me a place, Eva. 
А вы местные, да? Я местный. Да. Локон де Вот это место вообще тоже не фестивал, что такого есть. Вообще супер, да? Представляешь, я местный, тоже не представляю. Кто, да? Президент Пеперс? Да. Вот это место вообще тоже не представляю. Да? Да, серьезно, да? Я еду тут на велосипеде, ну катаюсь. Ага. Слышу музыка, слышу, ага. не пойму где. Ага. Вот начал искать нашу. Ты можешь сказать о своем городе? Это прекрасный город и главное здесь замечательные люди. Я нашла тут много друзей. Молодец. So this was supposed to be my intro telling you what I'm going to do in the day but I realized that I'd left the camera on slow-mo from the night before. So today we're just going to go out, have some breakfast and then hopefully go to the beach. That was the plan. So we've come for breakfast at the place that we saw yesterday that we didn't go to that looked really amazing on the outside so we've been recommended to go there. It's supposed to be really really amazing. It's a shame there's no one collecting the rubbish. You know, it was a lot of rubbish yesterday, but now I guess from yesterday night, there's just rubbish everywhere. And it's not so much the people that are guilty, it's the, the, the town should have a thing for collecting rubbish. I think this has been here since Soviet times. Oh, sure. I had to get rid of the beard, it was just way too hot for it. Now this, believe it or not, is a tobacco shop. It's probably the most cozy looking tobacco shop you've ever seen in your life. And what does this remind you of? Well, it reminds me of the seaside. The seaside, all these inflatable things. And here it says, Funny prices, or like maybe crazy prices, it'll translate to. Who fancies a lucky burger? This is why I love Russia so much, the contrast. Behind me you've got this crazy like Soviet monstrosity. Then over here, we've got this like brand new hotel. And then over here, we've got this old, I don't know, it's probably pre pre-Stalin uh, house with the balconies up there look this is a representation of the town look it's got the angel we've still got so many monasteries here you see flying over the lake with the Russian flag as the sky and then we've also got the balloons because every year here loads of balloonists come check out the balconies look how some people have put lots of flowers in there to make it look really nice and behind these trees are found what looks like it could be a house of culture. It's definitely a kind of like Soviet building. Let's, let's check it out. It's now a, a Kalyan place. But look at that architecture. Again, the old and the new. So the real reason I've walked all the way out of town is to go and visit one place. And it's about to start raining. I think it might even be a thunderstorm. Check it out. It says Blinnaya. It's basically a place that sells pancakes. Blinni. Let's go and have a look inside. Grab some pancakes. Wow, it's so beautiful. Oh. Souvenir shop going on here. How cool is this? Wow. I can see a storm coming, definitely. I hope I don't get soaked. I decided against the pancakes. I'm going to try and make it back to the centre where my mates are sitting and enjoying some tea. Look at here, it says Khlebs Maslam Eka Lavka, which basically means bread and butter and eco like. Uh, stand maybe or shop and wow look how nice it is 
Wow, it's so cute. This town really is amazing and the windmill. And here's the echo shop. And opposite we've got the, the cat with the stove. Well, I haven't made it in time. It's absolutely throwing it down. I've got a 10 minute walk back to the center. I'm gonna have to hide somewhere for a bit. So I stood in like a really cool place to shelter from the rain and there was a guy there and he was telling me his life story and he was pretty cool and I thought it was really interesting but then I remembered that we've got a new batch of COVID going on yeah so um, I didn't really fancy staying there and uh, having the potential of uh, having close contact with someone and catching it. What a lifesaver. What a lifesaver. Perfect. So the wind is pretty crazy. I think our final day swimming at the lake might just be ruined. Well, I don't know if it's a sign, but I haven't been playing for a while. It's raining, I need to go to shelter. And one place is open, it's the church. Here I am, sheltering next to the church. I've got like 2% battery left, it's throwing it down, so I think this is where today's video is going to end. 